Hi, this is Packbat. This is Earl Grey Tay. Uh, uh, we are streaming this indie game I found on itch.io called Bird of Passage. Um, where uh, I've played the game before and I think I want to wanted to stream someone playing the game for the first time. So I have roped in Earl Grey Tay as the passenger in the taxi. And I have no idea what's going on, so this should be fun. Yeah. I'm going to be reading out the lines of the various taxi drivers. And, uh, yeah. Um, I'll be the passenger. Yeah. It's, it's Vroom, vroom. Basically, this game takes place in these taxis as this passenger talks to d the different drivers. Mm-hmm. So. I have the feeling there's going to be a twist, but I have no idea what that could be, so... All right. All right. All right. I've been living here for a long time, but this does not mean that I want to know that I know where I want to go just yet. Are you from Tokyo? Yes, I am in a way. I come from a lost version of Tokyo. How do you mean lost? Literally, the, the city in which I was born is uh, not on a map any longer. Hmm. <laughs> that version of Tokyo disappeared into a void. There are witnesses that can confirm this. I see. What kind of witnesses? Witnesses that have seen and experienced the devastation that took place. You mean survivors like you? Maybe, but they belong in a museum. I don't. Do you mean old things? They are no longer just things. They have been reshaped by history. Now they are artifacts. They carry a story. One witness is still alive, actually. Is it? It is. Can you keep a living witness in a museum? It is not in a museum. This one is a tree. A tree? What kind of tree? Wow, these options. Um, not just any tree, a moving tree. Huh, what do you mean a moving tree? In my time, in my Tokyo, it was in Hiratsubashi. Then the earthquake hit, it leveled everything to the ground. The tree stood, its roots anchored deeply in the ground, its erratic branches reaching toward the sky. A thick cloud of smoke covered its crown. It burned. It's arrived. I see. And it did not stay there, you said. When they started rebuilding the city, the tree was transplanted. Today, in your Tokyo, you'll find it in Odemachi. It took me some time to locate it. I recognized it from the scars it still carries. We speak the common language of the survivors. Next time I'm in that area, I'll make sure to visit it. You can go now if you want. I think I'm done for tonight. Are you sure? Yes, uh, thank you for asking. Shall I pull over here? Yes, please. Bye. Give my best to the ginkgo when you see it. Will do. Oh, wow. I am pretty. Yeah. Am I a ghost? 
don't you don't have to answer. I know I, that I, there's I won't. Spoilers. Greetings. Thank you for stopping. Hello, sir. Let me ask you something first. Before you ask me where I want to go, let me ask you something first. Sure. Good. Do you mind if we chat a bit? While, while you drive me around? I'm sorry, sir, but this is a silent taxi. Oh, I see. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, thank you, that's all. I'm afraid I don't do silent taxis. That's fine, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. feels like this game was translated really literally, which helps with the tone in a strange kind of way. Hello! Hello, sir. Welcome on board. Thank you. Hmm. Where do you want to go, sir? Oh, right. It doesn't really matter. Kinda does. I need to know your destination to choose a route. <laughs> You're right. I, I'm sorry. That's okay. So, where do you want to go, sir? Drive me through the night. Huh? Do you suffer from insomnia, sir? Why do you ask? It's the middle of the night, and it looks like you have no clear destination in mind. Many insomnia passengers tend to soothe their minds by traveling at this hour. I see. As if being transported from one place to another could facilitate their flow of thoughts or alleviate their pain. Travel to unravel, as they say. Precisely. Does it work? As far as I can tell, sometimes it does. A couple of times I had to wake them up, and I felt terrible about it. How could I wake up a person that suffers from insomnia? Anyway, since it's not your case, if you don't mind me asking, what brings you on my taxi so late at night? It's part of my routine. I, I love taxis, you see. Why is that? All the different signs. All the different signs that adorn the roofs of the taxis here in Tokyo. Oh yes, the neon signs. They are all different. Some of them are quite rare. When I'm particularly bored or sad, I stop only taxis with certain symbols. As the years go by, certain signs are disappearing, but I like to think of myself as a collector of film stills. In my mind, I've cataloged so many different neon signs. Do you like to collect things in general? Only as mental images. You see, since I cannot possess anything tangible, I pride myself on my intangible inventory. That's quite convenient when you travel a lot. You don't need to bring any luggage with you. What are the best pieces in your collection? Some dear memories of the seaside. I have some dear memories of the seaside. Do you like it? I did. Any place in particular on the sea? Let's see. If only I could travel back in time. I'd like to go back to that week I spent in Atami, relaxing on the beach under the sun. Hi, Winter Dust. Oh. So I'm sure to check. Hi! Uh, did you like the place? Very much so. I remember clearly how much I loved walking barefoot on the seashore, 
feeling the sand and water between my toes. Tommy, with its hot spring and relaxing landscapes, seemed to be the perfect place to rest. Unfortunately, the Atami I visited is no longer there. What do you mean, sir? I mean that Atami was quite close to the epicenter of the Great Kanto Earthquake. That city has suffered considerable damage. Oh yes, sure it did. But it has been rebuilt. Yes, but... If I could travel back in time, I'd definitely return there. Obviously, before the earthquake hit. That's a good choice, I guess. Well, since we can't go back and I'm stuck here, remembering those glorious days in Atami is not doing me any good. I'm sorry to hear that. I'd like to be alone. Please stop the car. Sure. Here you go, sir. Thank you for the ride. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, I might have. I've never played this game before, uh, Winter Dust. So I'm just uh, choosing what sounds good. Yeah, that's what I did when I played it. I feel kind of sorry for these poor taxi drivers. Hello? Hello, sir. Is this a silent taxi? No, sir. Good. Where shall I drive you? I'm not sure yet. I've been living here for a long time, but this doesn't mean that I know where I want to go just yet. I doubt you would recognize the Tokyo I used to know. Yes, indeed. Even if I doubt you would recognize the Tokyo I used to know. Do you live in the outskirts? I tend to roam the entire island. Lately, I've returned to explore the city. Parks and gardens are my favorite spots. I see. I'm obsessed with a few species of plants. I spend hours looking at them. Their colors, the shape of their leaves, the geometry of their branches. Oh, and why do you like these plants so much? I deeply admire the resilience certain plants manifest. No matter what happens to them, they resist. What type of plants can do that? Well, ginkgo trees. Some of them survived the most lethal weapon man has ever created. They are called Hibakujumoku. Scientists were certain nothing could grow again in that area. Ginkgos proved them wrong. You seem to know a lot about ginkgos. I've spent almost a century studying them. Ginkgo, as it is written today, shouldn't even be its name. If you say so. <laughs> it was misspelled. A German botanist romanized the original ideographing Ginkjo, and then misprinted it as Ginkgo. Ginkgo literally means silver apricots, and people often think it refers to the shape of its fruits. But technically, those are not fruits, they're seeds. Ginkgo seeds look like silver apricots. We can agree on that. It also goes by the name of... I'm sorry if I'm boring you. It's just, those seeds are always on my mind. Shall I drive you to the nearest park? <sighs> Not really, but thank you for asking. My pleasure. So, do you know where you want to go next? Not at the moment. Just pull over, please. It's... Sure. Thank you. Have a nice night. You too. Goodbye. Bye. Ah, info dumping at taxi drivers. This is such a realistic game. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. 
Um, I have a bad habit of doing that. <laughs> is the I, thing. <laughs> I've only taken one lift in my life, and like, you finish the ride, and one of the things it asks to rate you on is how good the conversation was with the driver. So yeah, clearly they expected. Greetings. Thank you for stopping. Hello, sir. Let me ask you something first. Before you ask me where I want to go, sure. let me ask you something first. Sure. Good. Do you like plants? I really do, sir, and I'd love to talk about them, but this is a silent taxi. Oh, I see. Please pull over. Of course, sir. I don't do silent taxis. That's fine, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. Man, this game is interesting. Yeah. I would never have thought to make a game like this, oh lord. Yeah. It's very quiet. Oh, uh... Winter dust. Huh? Is the audio balance good? Just let us know whenever. Oh, wow, blue taxi. Hello. Hello, sir. Welcome on board. Thank you. Hmm. Where do you want to go, sir? Oh, right. I can give you an address, but. Thank you, that's all I need. But you wouldn't know where to find it. Huh? Sir, are you doubting my knowledge? I think I know the city well enough. Not at all, quite the contrary. I'm relying on you completely tonight. It's just that, you see, time has a bizarre way of affecting the structure of a city. That's for sure. Things move around, new buildings appear, old buildings disappear. One thing is knowing how to find an address, another thing is knowing your city inside out. It's just one of the many reasons I rely on taxi drivers to find my path. You know how to look into every nook and cranny. If you don't mind me asking, sir, why do you like taxi drivers so much? I still remember the first six taxis. Models? No, I, I mean the first six taxis that ever had the privilege of riding the streets of Tokyo. Ippan Jogyaku Ryokaku Judosha. That's how we called it back in the day. Motor vehicle for general passengers and traveling. However, as you can imagine, it was too long, too complex. So shortly after, we started just calling them Takushi. Excuse me, what year are we talking about? Well, that that's easy. It was 1912. 1912? Of course. At the time, I didn't have any need for a taxi, so I never had the pleasure of riding one of those six. I remember them clearly, though, as newspapers covered the event thoroughly. It was late July? I think my first taxi ride can be dated back to 1921. An early adopter. And everything changed. Uh, Earl is louder than me. Uh, is it obtrusive? I can turn the audio a little bit. I'll uh, go ahead and adjust the desktop audio down a pair. Okay, uh, go ahead and let me know what the balance is like now. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Taxi ghost. Online. I like the taxi ghost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, this game has a good atmosphere in my feeling. It really does. It 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 nails the feeling of being in a taxi at night. Yeah. Okay. Let's go on a little further, and then we can adjust the volume again, if need be. 
Sounds good to me. Okay. Uh, Earl is still a bit louder than you, but it's not as unbalanced. Okay. I'll go ahead and just move it down a little further. And then we'll just go along. Okay. Okay. Well, it surely did. We were talking about a century ago. Eleven years later, the earthquake hit. Eleven years later. 1923? Are we talking about that earthquake? Indeed we are. That's my turning point. Nowadays, I can only make sense of my erratic wanderings if I'm riding a taxi at night. Only at night? Why is that? I can't stand mornings anymore. <sighs> they remind me of the life I had before the earthquake. Also, Tokyo has changed so much I don't recognize it anymore. I feel like an outsider all the time. Do you prefer to roam Tokyo by night? Yeah. Darkness smooths everything out. Sometimes, just for a moment, I almost feel like the earthquake never happened and I'm still in my Tokyo. Then reality hits. I see the neon lights, the traffic, all the new buildings. Uh, thanks, Winter Dust. Good to hear. When do you normally start your daily routine? After the 5 p.m. bell, every day I wait for the Goji no Chaimu and then I go out. It reassures me to know that the system works. Well, nowadays it is mainly used for public announcements and to remind the children when it's time to go home. Of course. But its real purpose is to transmit warnings and emergency broadcasts throughout the country. That's why it was originally built and that's why they test it every day. We must be prepared. Always. <sighs> Let's hope we'll never need it again. You are absolutely right, sir. Let's hope so. Anyway, I have to admit I love to hear those daily chimes. They are uplifting. Well, I think I'm done for tonight. Thank you for driving me around. My pleasure. Here you go, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. Silent taxi? No, sir. Good. Where shall I drive you? I'm not sure yet. I've been living here for a long time, but this doesn't mean that I know where I want to go just yet. Are you from Tokyo? Tokyo was shattered a long time ago. Shattered? crumbled to pieces. It was gone in a blink. How did you survive? I didn't. I see. I died with and within my city. Huh? A mighty blue sky welcomed our morning. It was the perfect weather for a Saturday. When was it? It was the 1st of September, 1923. That's the day I died, together with thousands of other people. I wasn't alone by then. I am now. How is this even possible? I believe the real question should be another one. The question should rather be, how do I stop? How do I free myself from this limbo? 
Clear you, clearly you can't help me, but that's okay, it's not your fault. Thank you for the ride. Please, stop the car. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. This game is really good. See why I didn't want to tell you much before we started. Yeah, yeah. Greetings. Thank you for stopping. Hello, sir. Let me ask you something first. Before before you want ask me where I want to go, let me ask you something first. Sure. Good. Oh no, it's a silent taxi. Do yeah. you like plants? I really do, sir, and I'd love to talk about them, but this is a silent taxi. Oh, I see. Can you please pull over? Of course, sir. I don't do silent taxis. That's fine, sir. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have those first when do you have those two choices of the let me ask you something first or the ellipsis then it's a silent taxi yeah yeah each possible there's a set of different you can guess yeah yeah hello hello sir welcome on board thank you hmm where do you want to go sir Oh, right. Just drive, please. Hmm, rough night, sir? One of the many, unfortunately. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. My nights are endless. Do you suffer from insomnia, sir? I don't need to sleep at all. Linger, suspended in the liminal space of your moving taxi. I'm a wanderer. I have no fixed roots. I have no place to call home. I exist within the boundaries of my own tale. Tailored my routine accordingly. Night after night, I tell and retell my story to different taxi drivers, so that I won't forget why my existence is still on hiatus bird of passage that desperately tried to migrate between two worlds and got stuck in one. Oh, I see. Do you feel like telling me your story? Would that help? You're very kind, thank you. And yes, it would definitely help. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm all ears. My story begins like this. I was in the garden, holding some seeds in my hands. Are so good. It's funny how I remember being alive thanks to the mundanity of my last actions. It's pretty normal, I guess. It's just another Saturday in a vast collection of Saturdays. And what about the seeds? Right, the seeds. You see, late autumn is the right season to plant your ginkgo seeds. September is not the right month. I had to put them away, store them in a dark place. So those were ginkgo seeds. Please go on. Then the earth beneath my feet started trembling. Fissures ripped the ground. Everything crumbled. All of a sudden, something hit me hard on the back of my head. Huh. It's terrible. I fell on my knees, facing the back of my garden. An aftershock pushed me to the ground. And the seeds? They rolled away. I dedicated my very lost thought to them, that's for sure. I died shielding them with my body. Oh, that's interesting. 
What are you implying? The fact that those were ginkgo seeds looks interesting to me. Why is that? Because ginkgos are known to be strong trees. Oh, I've studied them long enough. They are quite resistant. Do you have any examples? One in particular. That ginkgo has survived the earthquake. The same earthquake that killed you? The very same earthquake, yes. Leveled everything to the ground, but the tree stood. It burned. It survived. See? What else do you remember of that day? I remember it was the 1st of September. People were preparing lunch. As the earthquake struck, the stoves were on. The shockwaves were so powerful that the water pipes burst. Fires spread fast through the city, and there was no water to extinguish them. I don't remember much else. I'm sorry. It's all confused and blurred. That's okay. Don't worry. This guy really isn't bothered by anything. <laughs> Is there anything else I can do for you tonight? Now that you know what happened exactly... What do you think? Uh, me? Yes. Do you think that's even possible? Do you think my ginkgo seeds might have survived? Oh, tonight you've told me that these plants are quite resistant. One of them has even survived the same earthquake that killed you. It did. So, if you ask me, I'd say that yes, it is possible. More than that, I believe we will find your ginkgo tree. Its roots planted deeply where you once fell on your knees, its branches vigorously reaching to the sky. After so many years and struggles, you will finally stand beneath your ginkgo with myriads of tiny yellow fan-shaped leaves falling upon you, like a silent rain. Do you really believe that? I do. Nobody ever believed my story. Nobody ever took the time to really listen to me. Nobody ever nurtured the seeds of my tail, until you did, tonight, and it has made all the difference. You have finally given me closure. For this, I cannot thank you enough. You are welcome. As a taxi driver, it is my duty to bring you to your destination, and I think we are here at last. Well, oh, that's the tree. Indeed we are. After all these years, I'm here. Again. You are home. I am. Goodbye. Goodbye. It's my phone. Sorry. No worries. I'm having about three feelings right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what a good game. Yeah. Yeah. Very good game. Yeah, I just um Wow. <laughs> I love the how you spend the game learning 
the yokai's story. Yep. Just, just in these little conversations that happen in these taxis. Yep. Yep. Right. And he just wants to find his tree. Yeah. Yeah. There's one thing, and I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to ruin the atmosphere. You, you've you seen my Sims streams, right? Uh, um, yeah. You know how sometimes the taxi will pass under a light and it will flash pink? I didn't know that. I, I noticed it because that particular shade of pink just sets off a knee-jerk reaction in me these days. I was like, is the game broken? Are we going to have to stop? Oh. <laughs> fortunately, it's not. Very fortunately. But other than that, which is all my problem, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's just... Like, like, the guy talks about taxis as a liminal space, and he is in a liminal space all the time. Yeah. And I think that's part of why the taxis are comfortable, because it is, you're supposed to be in a liminal space when you're sitting in the back of a taxi being driven yeah. around. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the the storytelling, the way that it's linear but at the same time very much not. Like I'm sure there are things that I missed. There are things you saw I didn't. Oh yeah? Like what? Oh, uh I don't even remember just like some of the conversations you went in different conversations than I did. Yeah. Uh Yeah, like you yeah, I don't... I, I, like, with the silent cab, I think I never... I think I never took the, like, um, um... Like, there was the option asking about plants, and then there was the other option asking about a conversation. I don't think I took the option asking about a conversation. Yeah. Like, like, I either would just sit silently in the cab, or I asked about plants at one time. Makes makes sense. It just, it, it, it's not even like big things. It's just little, little things little... where you had a different conversation than I did. Yeah. But but like the the, the fundamental experience of welcome uh, of you are meeting this person through the stories they tell. Um, yeah. Yeah, and and. and yeah, for me, like, one of the things I was doing, like, right at the beginning, I would choose the choices that I felt would be least distressing to the taxi driver, least confusing. See, where where I was picking the ones that seemed the most interesting from a story perspective. Yeah, like... yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, like that's part of what you do in, in, in playing this game, is you choose how the story gets told. yeah. And it's the same story, no matter what, but... Yeah. I also think it's interesting how the different taxis are, like, different scenes. It works really well for this game. Different... And the silent... Scenes, yeah. Yeah. Like, the same options are there in every taxi. Do they come randomly, or is there, like, an order to them? Is there a they, pattern? They, they come... I... If I had to guess, there was a random selection of taxis. There, there's a group of taxis that are possible, and those come mm -hmm. into in a random order for a while, and then they bring you the taxi where, uh, which, which takes the yokai to his final destination, to the tree. Mm. Um, Makes sense. Yeah. Because I noticed we got the, the tree taxi, I just picked a different option, and so I got the ending. Oh, okay. Like, like I, I was paying attention because I was like, okay, I want to pick different stuff and not just yeah. pick the same thing and make oh, the poor guy. Okay, so maybe you can just accidentally end up going to the tree right at the beginning, but like, no, we ended up... It was like the third taxi was the first one with the tree. Hmm. 
Only it just happened that you picked a different the story there. I picked a different story there. Yeah. Yeah, but like I like the specificity of the little details too. Yeah. Yeah. And like And like it's not it is it's also just a re, kind of a small story like this is yeah like it is a story of one person's place in this event and yeah. like deal like like dealing with this event from that one perspective i got really strong trauma feels from it honestly mm mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I guess that's what the whole idea of a wandering ghost is about, but... Yeah, the, the, you, you, the ghost who hasn't, is lost and hasn't found their way back. Yeah. It's just trapped in this place. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, It it feels, like, kind in the way it approaches the, the, the situation, which I also love. It's. It, I want to give the taxi ghost a hug. Yeah. They are very sweet. Yeah. A- and. Oh yeah, like there's also just like. This is one of the things that that, that, that came to mind is just the part where. This ghost had told this story. For years, and wasn't believed, and the and and like, it's not just finding the tree that was how the story could end. It was being believed. Yeah. yeah. Being believed enough that they, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess it, it, it kind of makes a magical sense because, like, like the ghost said, this, this is taxi drivers know the city so well and they know every nook and cranny. Yeah. So this was finally the taxi driver who knew where to take him. Physically and spiritually, as yeah. it were. Wow. Yeah. So like like you can see why in our Discord like I show up and I'm like I want to stream this game with someone. But you needed to stream it with someone who had no idea of what was going on. Yeah. So I I, I thank you for volunteering. Hey, you're welcome. I am glad I got to have this experience. Yeah. I'm glad I got to share it. Could you share a download link for this with me? Because I have a friend. This would be right up her alley. I, I'll go ahead and throw it to you as soon as we uh, wrap up the stream. All right. Awesome. On which note, yes. thanks for hanging out <laughs> and or watching. Hey, thank this was a fun time. Yeah. A very spooky fun time. Yeah. Uh, short little stream. Uh, <laughs> I say short little stream. It's been 50 minutes since we started our pre-stream. Uh <laughs> That's pretty short stream. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and like the estimated length of the game was a half an hour, so it was pretty much. It wasn't as long as I expected from us reading. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Thank Earl, you for for playing the game. Thank you for having me. And uh, have a good day. You too. <laughs>